I think what makes the Lot Trophy different from other college football awards is that you know, it's not only about your impact as a, as a player on the field, but it's, it's all, it was about your character, about what are you doing off the field. A lot of guys are great players on the field, but they don't get it done off the field. You can't just be an athlete, you know, you have, you have to be the total package and to have won that award and um, to carry on that tradition of not only Ronnie Lott, but all the people who've come before um, who have won that award. Um, it's definitely a great honor for me. You know, it's not just about the impact you have on the field. That does have something to do with it because just like this year's finalist, uh, all the guys out there are, are great football players. They're all going to be All-Americans and all those things. So, you know, where maybe some of the awards are based on just football, I think this one also includes what kind of person are you off the field? And what a trophy it has become in just 11 short years. Great winners, 10 of them, that have gone on to do extraordinary things. The Impact Awards themselves have a lot of significance that we're honoring young men who are making a contribution on the field and making it off the field as well. And that's just as important in this day and age. I guess it's the feeling of every year we get a great bunch of kids. Uh, these kids uh, make such a difference. Um, where they go to school and what they do and in their community and in the classroom. So when you see these kind of kids and you get to know them, it, it really is rewarding. Uh, when you figure out that you represent a lot more than yourself, you know, that kind of drives you to, to, you know, to try to go above and beyond the regular call of duty. For me, I've, I've always worked on just trying to be, be a leader, even, though, even if that's not somebody who's always speaking up all the time, but just with my actions and trying to be a guy that people trust. I've had a lot of opportunities that I know a lot of people don't get. And so for me, it's kind of maximizing just some of those, um, just some of the potential that people have put in me and some of the efforts that they've put in me um, and not to take it for granted. I just want to take full advantage of every opportunity that I have. Um, before my grandmother passed away from her second battle with cancer, um, I asked her, like, what do, you, what do you want from me? Like, what do you want from me? Like, what do you want me to be when I grow up? And um, I still write this on my cleats to this day. She said, be all you can be, but I'm not talking about the army, you know? But um, I take that with me, and I took that to heart, man. And uh, that's just, that's all I want to do type of thing, you know? Live from the Pacific Club in Newport Beach, California, it's the 11th annual Lot Impact Trophy presentation, honoring college football's Defensive Impact Player of the Year. Our four individuals that we're honoring tonight, from UCLA, Eric Kendricks. From Alabama, Landon Collins. From Duke, David Helton. From Washington, Haoli Kakaha. Fellas, one of you will join that distinguished list of 10 I could tell that the board cared about not only the award and the recipient, but the other finalists. Um, I really treasured how much they cared about what the trophy stood for. You've seen more football games than anyone I know. So tell me, how important is character in the NFL nowadays? Well, I mean, I think character wins championships. And, and, and that's, that's why I am so happy to be here tonight because to me, tonight, you're celebrating the true athletes. All four of the finalists were very interesting and so unique. I mean, you look at them and their stories and their backgrounds and so diverse. That was the first thing that stood out to me. Excellence is learned before it's earned. And uh, when excellence um, is what represents you, and that's what is represented in the Ronnie Lott Trophy, it just attracts those type of uh, character people. You know, to see this uh, award grow and the recognition uh, and the prestige, it's really been fun to see. Uh, I'm not surprised by it because it's about character and that's what Ronnie Lott is all about. Welcome back to the Pacific Club. Let's get to it. We got to hand out some hardware and uh, who better to hand out the Lott Impact Trophy than the man himself, Mr. Ronnie Lott. Eric Kendricks, UCLA. This, this award is it's indescribable. I mean, all the greats who have won it uh, before me and what it stands for, you know, Mr. Lott himself is a tremendous person. So, I mean, to be representing this trophy and this award, I couldn't ask for any, any more. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2014 Honorary Lott Trophy recipient, Tim McCarthy. I've had the opportunity in my positions in the Secret Service uh, and as Chief of Police to make a significant impact and I enjoy that, and it's a challenge. 
When I think of Ronnie Lott, there's a lot of uh, things that come to my mind, but definitely the, the passion of the way he not only played the game of football, but more importantly, what he represents to, to life skills. And uh, when I think of his award, I think of the prowess on the football field, but more importantly, off the field. And that's what excites me is the character that's um, a part of the Ronnie Lott Trophy and, and what it's all about. This is not a trophy that you put on the mantle. Uh, I think Mr. Lott and uh, the Pacific Club expects them to live this throughout their lives. I don't know if I've earned this award yet, but I, uh, I'll continue the rest of my life to, to earn this award and, uh, and represent the people it means the most to uh, my, my family and, and my friends and my teammates. It was a remarkable night and uh, something I won't forget. It's one thing to be a great player, and it's one thing not only to be a great player, but then to be able to do it at a high level. I always find that that's the, the, the true champion, the guy who decides that even at his best in whatever it is, that he decides to go do something else that will allow other people to stand on their shoulders so they can see success. I can tell this award was special because um, when they put us all in a room, it was no host there was no hostility, there was no competition or anything like that. It was just all love from, from the, from the get-go, and these are some great guys that, that, that were nominated for this award as well as myself. So we got along right away. You know, these uh, conversation was, was, was pretty funny and, and sparky, so we're all on the same page, and, and we're all going to make a difference in this, in this world. Like I said, thank you to everyone who, uh, who put this together, and I can't, I can't begin to describe how, how much this, this award means to me. So thank you.